Well, hello there guys, my name is AUS Valdo, welcome to a commentary gameplay, and the gameplay I'm gonna show you guys are a Halo 4 gameplay. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure it will be a Halo 4 gameplay at all, or at all, it's a wrong word, but anyway, guys. But today I was planning to talk about, and um, I don't know why I have this pedophile voice right now. Um, <laughs> today I was planning to talk about uh, Halo 4, pretty much, and my opinions on Halo 4. So, let's start with the campaign, which are mainly the main part of the game, actually. Um, I think I really enjoyed the campaign, pretty much, because it was new, fresh and everything. Like all games are. All games are funny in the beginning, pretty much. And it was funny. The, uh, I don't like the new enemies, Prometheans, and this video is kind of outdated. It will be kind of outdated, because Halo 4 had released, like, four or five months ago. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's the, I don't like the Forerunners pretty much. They are boring enemies. They are not really. I haven't played on Legendary. I just played on Easy because I didn't like the camping that much actually, to be honest. But the graphics are kinda amazing pretty much. Like, but it's because I think they added like the glowing blur effects. Oh got a text. Uh, blurring glow effects on every stuff. Every single stuff has a great freaking glow effect. And which makes it hard to decide how big an object is in the game. Pretty much when you are aiming and you don't see a shit because the, it glows. It glows like a freaking sun. Or a star, pretty much, to be correct. And it's it's not it gets hard, and that's I think it has lost its feeling for they free for free missed something, some th few things to make the game really really good. But it's it is still good, but the camping are kind of short or not short short. I don't mean short short. I mean it's kind of short. Things. The things you do in the campaign are short. For example, the uh, in the beginning, the first mission of the game, when you're climbing that elevator, when a spoiler alert for, if you haven't played the campaign yet, but I, I'm gonna go for spoiler alert, so I don't care about you. <laughs> um, when you climb that elevator shack, um, that's a really, I really enjoyed that part. It, it felt like, wow, I'm a super soldier that can jump and climb with like a boss, pretty much. And it was amazing, but you do it once, and it takes like 25 seconds to finish it off. And that's not funny, they should have made it more, they should have played with that thing a little more in different parts of the campaign, on different ways, maybe climbing a mountain or a tree or something instead. Uh, they could have done anything with that, because some parts in the campaign are kind of re repetitive, because like, you are al always gonna to push a button to close an energy thing, energy shield or energy orb thingy, always, and just run to the other, other part of the map to so do exactly the same thing with the exact a same animation, which makes drives me crazy pretty much. Same freaking animation, they like who moves exactly the same every time. No, but I won't go in that, into that, into the camping that deep. But like repetitive, the camping was too repetitive, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I know it's it's classic, but it was too repetitive. I'm sorry. And the multiplayer wise, and the multiplayer are, was very, very funny. I got to level 36 the first week I played. I have just played like two weeks in total. So it's not much. So I am like level. I'm almost level 40. So I haven't played multiplayer that much. But in the new maps, I have just tried a few of them. Because I pre ordered the Halo 4 Limited Edition, which feels kinda useless now when I have noticed that I haven't played a game at all, pretty much. But otherwise, the weapon balancing and the uh, everything else is pretty good. Uh, that thing that you join these games that already have started, which Call of Duty already have, but I won't claim the rights to for them. But the that thing doesn't really work as good as it should have been or should have worked, because you almost barely, almost never get into a match that have started, and when you do. Um, it's get the matches get too short for them, and uh, I liked it the way it was, pretty much. Uh, yeah, overall, the game gets 
8 of 10 stars and the next game they will make will get 10 out of 10 pretty much in my opinion I can guess that and uh, yes as always thanks for watching and remember to comment like favorite and share this video if you want to see more and as always my name is Iris Evald and I'm signing out peace when I just have to say that I want to delete anything from this video uh, or the gameplay on this video because I, I really enjoyed this gameplay and it was kind of badass. So you sit back and relax of the rest of the gameplay and I will see you in another video pretty much. Peace out. Uh, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button, like that though, and I don't know what I said, and please hit the like button, comment, and share this video with your friends, and uh, if you aren't like me forever alone, because I am, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, do it, and as always, my name is Iris Evald, and I, before I forget, click the screen right now to get to my latest video, bam, and as always, my name is Iris Evald, and I'm sending out right now, peace, stay cool guys.